Greetings and welcome back. Uh, I've ordered a cool pad. No, I haven't done it yet. Tomorrow I'm probably going to order a cool pad. But for now, yeah, the fan. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll see how that works. Hopefully the cool pad is decent and helps with the noise. And I've added subtitles and I pumped up the volume. That said, uh, the captor, Captain Anderson told me to speak to the council. Well, there's Garrus. Like I said, this is a semi-blind. I don't even remember this game, so... Garrus is there. My favorite terrain. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicari. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like he came up empty. Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. <sighs> I guess I don't. Still. Wish I could recruit Garrus now. It doesn't seem that I can. Huh? Yeah. Man, Citadel is a big place. believe I'm heading in the right direction. The hearing's already started. Come on. Yeah. Everyone's in a rush. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? <laughs> How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Useless counsel. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. <laughs> Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Utterly useless, the council. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know, Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. 
to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing hmm. with the executor. Yeah. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Uh, I'm kind of renegade -y, but, uh... Yeah. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with him. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Dina. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the woods. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Mm. Fair enough. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Well, I think me wandering around the Citadel probably isn't the best thing to record, since I'm going to get lost. I'm pretty sure about that, so I'll see you in a bit. And we're back, and I forgot that I had forgotten to turn on the subtitles. And, yeah. But, uh, subtitles should be on now. Volume is definitely up. And you can see. Subtitles. I thought that was Garrus for a second. Now, where are the lower wards? Oh, taking this quest to scan keepers for this Salarian scientist. Wards. Right. Thought I was in the wards. No. Have to go to lower wards. Don't want to go to the Presidium. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many yeah. colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals definitely are heading in the wrong direction. Have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Ashley's armor. He's very, very not good looking. No, I'm definitely in the, what is this? I haven't been here before, I don't think. 
but it's dark. Could these be the wards? Yeah, I'm completely lost. Ah, here. Oh, shit. Bogies. Okay. I'm definitely in the right spot. Now, Saren looks like he's outfitted with Reaper tech as it is. I wonder why. Hmm. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no clue with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Hmm. There's a bunch of stuff going on here. Oh, I had to speak to him as well. Commander! What do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! The lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Zoraka, general of the Turian fleet. Some general? What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold <laughs> shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors <laughs> and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. 
Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Maybe. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand what you're Oh, God. Really? Now, I'm in Cora's den. Isn't this where I'm supposed to be? Parking. Hmm. I got business here, but not with you. Ah, there he is. Still, what's going on here? The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. There he is. Hey there, sweetheart. Looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. See where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that really? honor. And then he blew it. Hmm. Huh. Thought he didn't quite so make it. Bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. I don't think that. Huh? Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garris went. Garris was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garris? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Good drink of this. Yeah, leveled up. And you get experience, so so many different scenarios in this game as opposed to, well, the other ones. Squad. Hmm. So. And Ashley Williams. <laughs> okay. So, expose Sidel Garris. Bunch of quests I got going. I don't think that's accurate. Harkin's an ass, but he's just messing with our heads. I think he almost made it, but he didn't quite make it. As far as I can remember, at least. Hmm. Well, rapid transit seems the best option.
I'm already in the wards. That was probably a mistake. Yeah. I'm lost. Scan this one already. So, for Garrus... Yeah, but where is he exactly? He is... Upper war upper wards, right? Upper wards. Hmm. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big, stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in CSEC. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this myself. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Uh. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. <laughs> However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. I knew it. You're not just evangelizing, you're panhandling. This one desires no charity. It only desires to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Uh. What if I purchase the event of However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary. 150 credits. This is a most appreciate. This one will not cause any further trouble for the C sec. Lovely. And what's my reward? I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't gonna be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it. And I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Now, what did he give me? He gave me, what, zero metagel? Does it seem fair? Uh, you know, I'm gonna wander around without you guys looking, because it's embarrassing. So, we've arrived in the med clinic. What's this? I didn't tell anyone, I oh. swear! Oh, it's Garrus. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or open. Who are you? Let her go. Huh. Oh. Not like I needed that. Huh? Garrus, what is up, man? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, 
A quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Hmm. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as Hell yeah. Shepherd. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. <laughs> yeah, we saw him in the bar. The Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay, goodbye, Lieutenant. Wait, no. I want him, and I want Garrus. And you can chill out, Lieutenant. Now, uh, let me see what Garrus can do. Powers are so weird in this one. So, well. Just weird. Welcome aboard, Garrus. My favorite turn. Good to have you. Just for viewing things. Fantastic. This is the wards, it's just the medical clinic happens to be part of the wards. The upper wards. Alrighty. Now, uh, let me try to Rex. I do want to find Rex. Speak to Rex. CSEC Academy. Alrighty. Investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? I don't have time to give interviews, Ms. Wong. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? 
I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got yes, killed. Yes, I know. If anyone can I'm find the good. worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. And I'm just racking up quests. It strikes me as, well, it seems that the Citadel is just a lot bigger in Mass Effect 1 than it is in any other version. Ah, scan the Keeper. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Or maybe not. Oh, there is just way too much equipment in this game. And it's all very confusing. Don't I have an Omni tool? Time to go to CSEC. Uh, hopefully, this will. Presidium locations. Huh. Ward locations? No. Oh, I think it must be in Presidium. I think I found it. I think, yes. CSEC. Academy. Famous elevator scenes. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Imagine if you could play a Hanar. How would that even work? CSEC Academy A Solarian CSEC officer huh. I've seen it all Where is Rex though? That's, that's the question There he is Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar Stay away from him I don't take orders from you this is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? I'm going after Fist. I don't want you getting in my way. Huh. Now I recognize you. Commander Shepard from the Alliance. Heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Well, you know, mm -hmm. humans, 
humans are not so cool sometimes. So why does Rex have a sniper rifle? Oh, come on. Really? Rex has a sniper rifle? Doesn't make any sense. Alright, let me find this uh, gentleman fist. Take down fist. This be some interesting dynamic combat. <laughs> no, just kidding. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to it's perform just bad design. With a I mean, curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for oh. a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Yeah. That's why I'm playing this. I'm playing this for the story, really. The combat is <laughs> not satisfactory, really. Even if I could play it on Insanity, which, uh, as I haven't beaten, I can't. But I know where to go now. It's in the wards. As soon as I find a transit thingy. You know, just when you're looking for a rapid transit sign, whatever they're called. There we go. No. Those are directions. More directions. Many direct. Oh, there we go. Rapid transit. Like the New York City subway system. Only better. Dan is where I want to go. So. Looks like it shut down. This knows we're coming. Bogies. Okay, this is awesome. Combat challenge. Combat challenge on veteran of all things. Nice. Sometimes dying is good. Sometimes.
Gotta be a little careful here. I guess. I thought it was a headshot. could have shot that if I had wanted. Over there. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Negative contact. Okay. Easy to script descri yeah, description, decryption. Let's see how easy it is. Try this again. Ugh, fine, I'll use Omni Gel. Weird, I only got one shot at that. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired to an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Is he gonna give me... Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm on a timer now. But uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.